Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a uh, film review. It's a film I've seen a couple of weeks ago now. I saw it at the cinema. It's pretty recent sort of film. It was brand new when I saw it out of the cinema and that film in question is 2013's Oculus. Now, Oculus uh, stars Cameron Gilland, who is uh, Amy Pond from Doctor Who, and a guy called Rory Cotrain. Now, he was... Um, I think it was Speedo from uh, CSI Miami. Uh, they are the only two stars that are recognised from the film and uh, everybody else isn't really well known, recognisable, famous or anything like that. But Oculus 2013 is a relatively modern spin of a horror film. A horror film that is loosely based around a haunted mirror. Karen Gillan is... She's an American who deals in antiques. Um, she is a daughter to a murdered mother and a murdered father. She also has a brother who has been in a mental institute for, for about a decade, I think it was, uh, simply because he went a bit loopy, went a bit crazy. He saw things, he did certain things. Uh, apparently in the film he killed his own dad for what he did to his mother but like I have mentioned the film is um, a horror film about a haunted mirror and Karen Gilland her character is set on exonerating her brother to make him innocent and prove that the mirror is haunted so once her brother is released from uh, the mental institute from um, from the care of the state she decides to pick him up and educate him on the history of uh, the mirror and all the incidents that have taken part from around the mirror. They have haunted certain owners uh, from history, uh, they've taken, taken lives and she wants to prove it really. And she does a good job about doing it. She's done her own work about the mirror, she's done all the history, all the research. Uh, she's pretty switched on with all that. Now the thing is with Oculus, um, you've kind of got to be switched on yourself as the audience. As the viewer, you've got to keep up to date with everything that's going on. With Oculus, they sort of play two films at once. There's a, there's a story of when the two kids were younger. So when they were about 11 years old, the film plays that sort of film. It plays what happened when they were kids from both perspectives, so both the young boy and the young girl. It runs that alongside the modern day version of Karen Gillan's character trying to exonerate her brother. So she set up cameras, she set up plants, um, she set up alarms and timers and all that sort of thing so that they can eat and hydrate and just keep alert of what is going on in their surroundings and try and outsmart the haunted mirror. It's pretty clever, it is pretty um, bit of a mind mind bending of a film it's it's keeping you on your toes as the audience you've got to see the perspective of the 11 year old children what they saw their mother go through what they saw their father go through uh, but then it switches automatically blink of an eye from the 11 year olds to the modern day version to them wandering around the house uh, checking lights checking cameras uh, changing alarms Things like that, so you've got to be a bit switched on. Uh, there is a bit of a twist at the end of the film. Karen Gilland, um, I did not like her American accent. She tried. Uh, apparently she's big over in America. Fair enough, well done to her. I don't know, the film, it, it's alright. It's interesting. It keeps you on your toes, like I've said. It's not much of a horror, scary sort of film. It's part... There was a handful of parts that made you jump. I mean, it didn't make me jump, but... I could see where they were trying to make you scared. The ending of the film I did see coming a mile away. Uh, that was a bit predictable. Uh, an incident that happens with Karen Gilland, her character and her husband uh, towards the end of the film. That was pretty interesting, pretty clever. Um, but overall, it's not a bad sort of film. It's a bit of a mind twisty sort of film. Uh, it keeps you on your toes. You've got to be aware of what the history of the film was back when the two characters were 11 years old and to their about 21 year old uh, selves now so you've got to be able to keep track of two films running alongside each other um, but apart from that Oculus I would recommend it it's not too bad it does make you jump it's 
the sort of film that makes you think about uh, the film that you're sat down watching, so it's not too bad. I haven't got a cover, it is at the cinema. Uh, pretty enjoyable sort of film. The people I went with, they enjoyed um, it. But yeah, can't recommend it enough, especially if you're a Karen Gillan fan. Uh, if you want to be a bit scared, and if you are a bit scared of mirrors, then it's uh, definitely one for you. But, hope you like my review. Thanks for watching. Also, we the voted, links down below as per usual. If you want to save yourself a bit of money, use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted items you decide to buy, links down below as per usual. But guys, thanks for watching my review of Oculus and its Haunted Mirror. Thanks for watching.